Gav Kenner. They're now tuned in up in Malaysia. They're ready. And they're racing. Agent J and Island Charm jumped away well. Charge is doing exactly that, spearing across from the outside. And King's Authority is going to lob prominent, but Charge with pace to burn. Quickly dashes to the lead in the early stages. Further back, Brooklyn Pier, Jedi Mind, great charade. They're followed by E Orway, Zephyr Queen, Billy Ray. Well back there, so's Rock on Tommy, who's last. But Charge is absolutely high-tailing it along here at the 700. It's Charge by two and a half lengths. Agent J, the pace really on then king's authority third with a length and a half to jedi mind on the inside pushing up for mcgruddy just in front of the favorite island charm three deep on the course then brooklyn pier with e always near the rail dropping back great charade billy ray rock on tommy and zephyr queen on the point of the turn charge straightened up a length and a half to two in front of agent j now coming to the outside king's authority native chimes jedi mind goes right back to the inside brooklyn pier's running on as well they're swamping charge charge in front now here comes native chimes native chimes dashes to the lead and native chimes is going to put them away the great southerner native chimes beat the fast finishing e always who came with a big run late king's authority looked to have grabbed third from brooklyn pier great charade picked up ground late jedi mind battled away agent j next home then came the tiring charge who ran right out of charge followed further back by billy ray zephyr queen and with it is rock on tommy well, it is Island Charm who wins there for Chris Parnham, Michael. Excellent piece of riding from barrier number nine. Eeyore Way's in there for second. And King's Authority, well, guess what? He's running another placing. King's Authority. But uh, good effort by Island Charm. Absolutely. Chris Parnham sums it up brilliantly out of the gates. Looked in, uh, destined to be three deep the trip, but he must have known how quick they were going to go. The separation happened in the run. He ended up lobbing one out and two back, would you believe, uh, from barrier nine. Wonderful uh, execution of riding there peeled out at the right time and goes bang from a game he always and king's authority who stuck on well and four margins of three quarters and a neck the winner island charm daughter of hinch and brook from Pena. for Ms. s andrews mrs l o farrell mrs c o farrell mrs w rogers and also mrs m horsley and mrs r scott trained by roy the boy rogers in the great southern and uh, ridden by chris parnham 35-9 won the sectional. Second home, 5E always. By my admiration from Because I Said. Two really good runs now, this preparation for trainer Raquel Reed. Craig Staples aboard. It was getting really busy late. And third, nine Kings Authority by Schnitzel from Amy's Glen, Neil Della, Lactar Romilly. 12-5-9, eight ran fourth after the running of race number seven. The Towton Cup is next over 2200 at 425. Seven Midnight Blue is the scratching. Well, we'll go to Britt Taylor in just a few moments here, but it's been a really good day for Albany trained horses. That is for sure. Steve Wolf has got a double up today. Roy Rogers on the board here with a mare that deserved this win this afternoon. They continue to clock up the kilometres on the Albany Highway, but they're doing it with great effect. Dare say the drive from Albany to Perth and Perth back to Albany is all that little bit more sweeter when you're able to take home a winner. Yeah, absolutely, Brett. I had a horrid day yesterday and uh, needed a change of luck and it's great to get the win and I, I just want to commend uh, Chris Parnham. What a terrific ride from that gate. Um, I asked him what he thought. I said, I, I, you know, I, I want you to go forward. What do you think? He said, absolutely. Um, but just a, a well-judged ride. That's why he's the best in WA and and probably Australia like last year. So, yeah, he's a class act. Good ride. Talk us through those opening stages. You've drawn barrier nine, the gates open. And, and what were you thinking watching Chris find a spot? When I saw him ping out, I thought, beautiful. Then when you watch the head on, you think, oh, is he going to get in? But he's just gifted. Yeah, he, he knew exactly what he was doing and he had the cattle to do it on and uh, the rest is history. And this mare deserved to win after a run of placing. Yeah, absolutely, Britt. We paid a lot of money for her and... Um, she still hasn't put it together. If you watch her races, she doesn't switch in the straight, which is pretty unusual. Most horses will come around the corner and switch to the straight leg, and she just doesn't seem to want to do it. But she didn't hang today, so um, maybe Chris is the key. Certainly was today. Well done on the win. Thank you very much. There's Roy Rogers winning with Island Charm here. Chris Parnham, an excellent ride. Just summed it up perfectly. 
with Island Charm and uh, he's about to weigh in and catch up with Michael Heaton. His second win of the day, Chris Parnham, a lovely execution indeed. Uh, drew it awkwardly there but landed one out and two back. Chris, you look like a man on the mission when you jump the gates. Is that where you wanted to land? Um, I didn't really know. I wanted to be forward but um, whatever spot I could get I was going to take. They were going pretty hard up front. Uh, what were your thoughts at the top of the straight? Um, I sort of come off the bridle a little bit around the corner and didn't, didn't actually corner that well. And then um, once we sort of levelled out in the straight, she sort of really hit top gear. Now you were aboard her last preparation. I think today's the first time this time in. Did a few things wrong when last in work. How was she today? No, she's pretty good, yeah. Uh, Travelled nice. She did come off the bridle a little bit and then got hung out a little bit on the corner. But, um, yeah, she's got plenty of ability. Stafford's lad in the next, the featured Towton Cup. Uh, he's been in work for a long, long time, but he's been hitting the line as well as anything. Can you pinch it? It's going to be really tough in that barrier, but um, he's tracking the right, right way towards the Perth Cup. So, yeah, now hopefully he can run a good race. It'd be even better if he won, but, um, you know, his target's going to be in New Year's Day. All the best. Thanks. There is Chris Parnham, brings up a double with Island Charm winning there. And up next is the feature of the day, the GA Towton Cup. Let the good ones go.